All right, let's get back to it. Oh, they can open the door. Yeah, they can open the doors. I guess they live here. Man. No, open doors. They just are stuck in the rooms they're born in. <laughs> Man, I hope somebody opens this door. I only have four pistol bullets left. That's a good place to be. They are dropping a ton of bullets. Which I... Oh, no. I think, uh, I think the game is doing that thing where it's like, Oh, yeah, you're about out of bullets. Here's some more. Yep. Oh. I wish it would do that thing where it's like, Hey. they are. There's all my friends. There's a lot. Yeah. Jeez. Oh no, I almost have ammo. <laughs> Don't worry, everything's fine. Okay, you're good. I was fully expecting to light her on fire there. Yeah. Well, maybe I should... Try to snipe this guy's ass. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, this thing kicks ass. Because he. Against the shield, guys. Yeah. The whole being able to kill somebody like through their shield is kind of nice. Yeah, actually, I think the Punisher would probably be good in the castle. I totally forgot about that. That's my fault. Oh, man. Oh, use your flash grenade. Or, just shoot with the right. Yeah, there's only one. Yeah, don't waste it. Oh, of course there's more. Okay, this, this might be... This might be infinite? I think you have to hit that lever. I think you can actually command Ashley to do it too. So you can like wing two people off. Oh yeah. Ah, good. Let's just make sure. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, lady, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, yeah, I have no bullets. Okay, good. I have no bullets, I have no health items, we're both almost dead. But uh, it's you can fine. Destroy, you can destroy the bases. The bases are basically the barrels of the castle. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they don't have anything. Just I recall place. this from when I was missing a bunch of shots last time I was in this room, and I broke a bunch of the bases. There you go. That's one way to find out. Did those just disappear before you could grab them? They did. Cool. The game's like, yeah, you're good. <laughs> ah, okay, we're doing okay. I would reload that too. <laughs> ah. <Bless. laughs> mm. Allergy season, baby. Oh, That's given the given this given the uh the viewers what they want, which is a guy sneezing into his microphone. Look, there's a crank over there. View oh, no. Viewers love to see it. This part's terrible. How do I get up there? You have to give her a lift by those paintings. What could possibly go this wrong? Is... Oh, God. 
I remember this part stresses me out. Well, don't worry. It's Somebody's not good. like I die at all of the hard parts or anything. Nope. I'm good. Especially since you only have 30 rounds. <laughs> oh. I would use those very sparingly. Like only when someone grabs. Oh. All right, let's get this guy. <laughs> get at me. <laughs> okay, she got one of them. She just needs to get one more. Don't worry, I got four bullets. Okay, someone dropped something in front of you. Ah, shit. <laughs> Sniped her ass. <laughs> we got her. The president, the president would be so happy to know that you sniped his daughter. <laughs> it's like Leon gets home fine from all of this. He's like, well, well, boss, I'd say things went about as well as they could have. <laughs> Oh, aside from the fact that I shot your daughter in the back. But you know what? She's not kidnapped anymore. That's true. You gotta look at the bright side of these things. <laughs> she's not kidnapped anymore because she's dead. That is something different. <laughs> Leon's an optimist. This is probably my least favorite part of the castle, so once we pass this, it's kind of like... Annoying, I'd say. Yeah, I'd, I'd say this is not like a. This is like a Robotron 64 level that they just put inside a Resident Evil game. What is Robotron 64? Uh, it's like a bullet hell game. Oh, great. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those where like you use like the C pad to aim your gun and then like. Walk with the other pad. It's good. Anything in those bosses? Probably. Ah, oh, great. I'm off to a good start. Oh, I want to kick these guys. I'm trying to save bullets, guys. I love Leon just like having a nice fight with all guys. Ah, uh, where is she? There she is. I am not doing well at the game right now. I'm gonna just, if I had to rank my, uh, how well I feel about my performance right now, it would be very not well. Okay, she only needs to get one more and you're good. I'm big into shooting these guys in the ass until they die. Man. Oh no.
Yeah, I... Those were exactly what I wanted to see at this point in the game. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> the guy's like, all right. <laughs> Get out of jail free card. I'll just keep walking at the same pace, and this guy will never hit me. All right, come on, lady. You have to cut your, which is so oh, yeah. insane. Like, you have to go get like, can you really not make that jump right now? It's crazy. That's a pretty big jump. How do I have to like help her across? Oh, good, she can jump. <laughs> you just make yourself a bridge, like you make your body a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like laying your coat down over like a puddle. Yeah. It's yeah, a gentlemanly it's thing to do. You build a bridge out of your guns for her to cross. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this will take a minute. Hmm. Well, this seems like a nice, quiet place to talk about the Game Pro review of Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. It's pretty short. I could read it, the whole thing, right now. Oh, yeah, lay it on me. Um, Look, Ma, no zombies. Good start. <clears throat> Good start. Resident Evil 4 picks up after Code Veronica with Leanne Kennedy from Resident Evil 2. Now a government agent sent to rescue the president's daughter who disappeared in Europe. Of course, her kidnapping is only a small part of the huge overall picture. The much publicized absence of trademark zombies and Nemesis Corporation Umbrella was replaced by enemies that are far deadlier, crazed villagers and cultists who actually put up a fight. Enemies use explosives, weapons, and even bob and weave to dodge your attacks. They also set up a variety of cru crude but effective booby traps. Like rolling a board, uh, boulder at somebody. Like rolling a boulder and using um, sights. Yeah, alright. If, if the remake of the first Resident Evil on the GameCube set a new visu visual standard for the series, then RE4 easily raises the bar. The game is gorgeous in a very effective way with mist, rain. Mist and rain, dude. Can't be Damn, done. rain's a big and deal in 2005. Oh, rain, yeah, huge. Rain's in every game now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and other diverse weather effects coupled to immense detail. Static pre-rendered backgrounds have been a love-hate relationship of the RE series, but number four wisely discards them with a new third-person view so you can see more of your surroundings, including attackers that may be lurking nearby. This is funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> RE was frequently frustrating due to the limits on the play system. But not here. Characters can vault. I don't know about that. Yeah. Um, characters can vault over rails, jump through windows. Yeah, that was my main complaint with the first Resident Evil. Why can't I vault over this rail right now? <laughs> Why can't I parkour in this match? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, now that'd be a game. Parkour Mansion? Welcome. Ooh, I would play that. You just, it's, there's Got no story or sales. explanation, you're, just, you you're put in a mansion with really, really good physics and just parkour. Yeah, that seems like it'd be like an indie game in 2019. Is that old yeah, it's like it just randomly pops up Thank on stream you. and gets game that old Yeah. Is that old okay, well. <laughs> Thank you. Where was I? Is that old uh, about vaulting. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, jump through windows and even engage in hand-to-hand -hand fighting what with dry and ammunition. Is? Honestly, the knife is just that now that you're, when you're using it was Thank very you. good. It actually works really well. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, in uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake, the knives can break. You can use them a finite amount of times before you have to find <laughs> another one. Um, interwoven into the play mechanics are action button sequence, twitch finger situations where you must press the button prompt that appears on screen. Simple controls keep the diverse functions under simple command. Uh, 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 okay. 
but the inability to reload weapons in the menu screen or while moving can be a real pain. Reloading your weapon in the menu screen would be kind of stupid. What in my are you opinion. Yeah, that's their complaint. <laughs> Is that old? I can't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what game can you reload in the menu screen? I don't know. Maybe the first one? I don't remember being able to do that, though. I just um, mean, like, in general, I can't think of a single game where you get to do that. Yeah, I don't think that's a thing. No. Nah. Speaking of weapons, the game serves up an arsenal solid snake would envy. Machine guns, sniper rifles, grenades, magnums, and other weapons can be attained. The new ones can be purchased and upgraded on them any merchants, blah blah blah. Wait, merchants? No, it's one merchant, my dude. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, what game is this guy playing? I don't know. Um, okay, you ready for the uh, complaints? Yeah, lay them on me. It's he he prefaces the the uh, paragraph with Monster Mash. It's titled Monster Mash. It's just a little title there. Um, if RE4 has any problem, it goes on a little too long with one boss battle and plot twist too many. However, there is an extensive reward system, including unlockable content that adds excellent replay value. It took time, but Resident Evil 4 finally arrived in glorious fashion. Okay, whatever. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's it's like a, the... Uh, super. Everybody boring. now, like, complains if a game isn't, like, 300 hours long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back then, 20 hours was too much. Yeah. I don't... He says, it goes on a little too long, uh, in parentheses, it spans two discs. <laughs> um, like, that, well, hmm, I don't know, that's stupid. That's like complaining about every Final Fantasy game, then. Yeah, which are so way longer. Yeah, uh, does he have more, uh, more content, or is he just going into the, uh... <laughs> right. Do you want me to look up this writer? Huh? I mean, oh no, I mean, do, uh... Do we have our fun factor scores? Oh, yeah. Well, take a guess what the fun factor is. Uh, it's what, a five point scale? You're right. Yeah, it's between one and five. I'm gonna say four, five. Four point yep, five. Four point five. Got it. Nice. Uh, graphics, four point five. Sound, four point five. And control, four. This is so huh. stupid. <laughs> it's just so arbitrary. And like, worry, they have like good, uh, like, uh, does the Wayback Machine or whatever have, uh, the, the goofy pictures next to everything? For What'd like, sorry. uh, does the archive version of it have like the, like, goofy oh. faces they put next to the numbers? No, it's a bummer. I might mm. have some old, they have a gallery of screenshots from Resident Evil 4 though that I can look at. Oh, nice. I think, like, GamePro tried to get a little more professional. Ooh! They wanted to be more... Oh, yeah, this is good. Where's Ashley? Oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Oh, fun. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. <laughs> I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. <laughs> Is that like, you're gonna be bored, so I'm gonna see you in the next life? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> I like how the this guy just... This Napoleon-looking motherfucker is able to hijack a coded, presumably coded, government line uh, using technology that he has in his shitty old castle, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what would you do if you had a zillion pitas <laughs> just sitting on? <laughs> what's the uh what's the trade yeah what's the exchange rate on patas <laughs> I, I don't know i can look up a youtube video really quick though 
I th I was gonna make a joke about that being something that people wouldn't get into, but yeah, it might yeah, be. dude, that's it totally is. Someone fucking cosplayed the treasure chest from this game at some Comic Con at some point. Huh? What do I need to do here? You know, where have you been? Now the game kind of opens up in a weird way and it kind of becomes like a regular Resident Evil game. Yeah, I mean, there's this whole map. Huh, I guess we'll go this way first. Yeah, I haven't been there yet. Uh, oh, wow, I guess just later that year it was released, it came to PS2, which back then felt like three years. Yeah, I thought it was a lot longer. Yeah, it was the same year, which is crazy. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> exclusivity it's like deal is... is like three months. <laughs> yep. To be fair, time felt so much longer back then. It really did. It really did. Spooky. It's getting kind of scary again. It has it kind of dips back into the horror stuff throughout the game, but it spurts. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. If like it was just endless after I got through that like the lever room, I would have been kind of annoyed uh, to just fight more of those guys. Yeah, yeah like, it would get old. To just hear oi 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 oi. Oh, what? Yeah, it's an invisible bug. Oh, wow, they do a... They do a really great job with that. Yeah. It's a really good enemy. Yeah, that thing's awesome. The enemy design in this game is just, like, so good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't... It's very not Resident Evil. Yeah, it does feel totally different. Actually, it's so weird that this was my first Resident Evil game, because going back and playing the other one, it's just like, oh, wow, this is a completely different game. Yeah, totally different genre. Man, these guys actually are pretty spooky. Yeah. Oh! It's like our going to be our annoying, like, trope to compare everything to Metal Gear Solid, but this, like, <laughs> is a very yeah, Metal is Gear very... Solid thing. Yeah, it is. The invisibility thing is, yeah. Yeah, it's, like, very much the cyborg ninja fight. Yep. Yeah. Which, like, at this generation, those were, like, the games, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, totally. Um, it's still, like, the AI for that that uh, enemy still feels pretty modern. The way it was moving and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mean that it didn't just, like, stand still and wait for me to shoot it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, like, uh move to the left and move to the right. Uh huh. The whole like climbing on the walls and how you can hear it's like footsteps moving around. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Help track oh. where it is. Drop ammo. Oh. Well, it dropped ammo. I think. Or no, it just dropped a green eye. Green eye. 
the music here is really good. Yeah, I was just gonna say I really like the uh, like it, bug theme, I guess. Yeah. Sounds be the thing to call it. Buggy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> he's just looking for you. That's nice. They made it easy on you, they all came to you. Well, I was trying to bait him into there. Oh hell yeah. This is such a survival horror trope. Like abandoned prison cells. <laughs> There's like dead bodies and I know, I was expecting that guy to get up when I walked in here. <laughs> if it was the... Dude, if there was an evil tree room, there's so many rooms like that where you walk in and you see a dead body and you're just like, no. There's like a few times where I would just like, I, every time I saw a dead body, I would just like shoot its head. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I saw it. Alright, let's see. The Lost Plagas. Yeah, okay, so this is like the plot. This is the plot stuff. Oh, this is a lot. Of, this guy got really in the weeds here. This is lore, man. So this sounds like what you're dealing with now. Yeah. Yeah. This seems like a little uh, pointless. Yeah, I mean, well, this is Lewis's notes, right? So, so it's just letting us know that Lewis has done a lot of research on these parasites. Yeah. Okay. Why was he in this prison cell? Because I guess he was being held captive. Well, that's usually what happens in prisons. Yeah, I guess. I just thought they'd have him, like, in a cooler, cooler looking prison. <laughs> hey, that, guys. Are you, Hyrule? are you in Hyrule Castle? Oh, how do I get in there? Yeah, this is Hyrule Castle. You gotta find the uh, Sword or of Time or whatever. Castle Wolfenstein. Yeah, or the one from Castlevania, whatever you call that one. I think it's just Dracula's Castle. Yeah. I bet you once you lower that water level, like, no enemies will come after you. I know. That'd be a nice twist. <laughs> you just get to go and progress. <laughs> like, actually, nothing happens. Nobody's here. Have fun, chief. Ah, there's the treasure. <laughs> yeah. I'd just be worried about breaking that thing carrying it around this castle. Honestly, yeah, where's he storing all these, like, priceless artifacts on his, like... Uh, in his, like, satchel on his butt. Oh, okay. He better not fall on his butt. He's gonna shatter all that. Mm-hmm. And it will be worthless. Nah. I hope there's... Good. <laughs> <laughs> I want there to be an animation where Leon falls on his big butt and then, like, you hear, like, a bunch of shattering and then Leon goes, Oh, no. <laughs> like the same, oh, no, he does when he lets the president's daughter die. Yeah. Oh! Spit ass back. He's dead now. Was that Ragdoll or was that just an animation? That almost looked like... I think it was an animation. Oh! They really made me look like a fool there, turning off the music. Yeah, Thought I was home free. Nope. Oh. Ah, come on. Hey, <laughs> come on. Look at this. Ooh. What is that? That's tricky. Hmm. 
the hell's the green eye? Uh, examine that lantern that you picked up. I think it's just a treasure. Oh. So things can go inside of it? Aha. So it has to be different colors. Hmm, yeah. I'm going to cheats on GamePro.com right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you remember when you had to like get cheats in the back of a magazine? Yeah, it was the best. I love that. I would just—I remember getting like my magazine and being like, "Oh, I hope there's like good cheats in this one," and just like skipping to the back and seeing <laughs> if I had any other games. Yeah, I remember like was... reading strategy guides for games I didn't have. Just like <laughs> that was like my version of a let's play back then. Was to read I, I, like I remember doing that. The Game Pro strategy guide for like Duke Nukem 3D. Yeah. Just because I was so curious as to what they were. Yeah, and like nobody's mom would let them play Duke Nukem game. Oh yeah. So you have to read that strategy guide. Yeah. Actually, I remember um, going to somebody's house and like they had Duke Nukem, but they had, and so I was like, "Fuck yeah, we're gonna get to play Duke Nukem!" But he had like the old side scroller one. Oh no. Like before. I didn't even know that yeah, before Duke Nukem 3D, there were like a series of side scrollers that were just like. Like Terrible. Jack. Like, uh, what's that Jack Rabbit game? Um, they were just like side scroller shooters, basically. Oh, okay. But not and that they weren't good. good. Were they like, like Contra? No. Like they were slower paced than Contra. Oh, there he is. You gotta heal up. I don't have any health. You don't. I don't have any health items. Aha! Oh, <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh, you have a first aid spray, too. Oh, I did? I thought that was a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can use it like a grenade. You should just throw it at an enemy and shoot it in midair and see what happens. I've only been playing this game for like seven hours or something like that. Seven or eight hours, and I don't know what the it's grenades are. It's this big. It's a health grenade. That's true. Thanks for uh, kind of explaining away that dumb thing that I did. <laughs> yeah, health grenade. <laughs> Man, I'm getting. Oh, ah, this shit. is so good. This is such a stupid and amazing room. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by this. No, you're good. Is that like... Oof. Oh, God. <laughs> you were not expecting me to get through that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, think the, I think the animation for like dying in that room is like really stupid too. Uh, I don't know where it'll drop no. me on my next. I was like, yeah, I kind of want to go back, but I don't yeah, know where it's going to leave me. It. There's so many. One of the best things about this game is there's so many death animations. Yeah, I know. I'm like not dying in goofy enough ways. And it's kind of disappointing. Oh, I, I what? Kinda, the, Ooh, this is... Uh, if you have grenades, I recommend grenades for this part. I do have a grenade. So you're able to bef attack them before they even see you, so try to be sneaky about it. I think there are two... Yeah, go that way. Down there. Oh wait, I sh man. <laughs> Hold on, let me switch my items. <laughs> ah, that was pretty good. 
I think I got um, almost everybody. I'm pretty stoked to play Resident Evil 5 uh, multiplayer. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Cause I, I never played that multiplayer oh. and I hear that's like the best way to play it. I just, I rented it from Blockbuster when Blockbuster was on its last leg and like beat it by myself in like two days or whatever. So I was so excited obviously cause I played Resident Evil 4 all the time. And being just super underwhelmed by it and then years later hearing like, oh it's, you have to play it multiplayer for it to be good, <laughs> blah, blah, so. Of course. Hopefully. Oh, also, you can kill the merchant and he stops showing up. Oh, well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, he just permanently dies. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Which, yeah, isn't that insane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't accidentally kill him because then you're just fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, I wasn't going to shoot. Ah. Uh, right. Mysterious stranger. Either way. Just a warning. Well, to be fair, I almost shot him there. Okay, yeah. Don't, please don't. And it, it, it only takes one bullet, too, from any gun. Oh, good. Yeah, just like anything, and then he's gone. So, cool. Yeah. I like how they came and they set up shop in this room, so he was like, ah, fuck, I gotta move upstairs. <laughs> like, he's still in here. <laughs> He's still in the same room, but he just locked himself in one area. Can you go can you go through? Can you go talk to him? Oh yeah, I think so. Or is it or was it locked on the other side? No, I think it was just locked in that from that one area, like Oh okay. You could still just get to it from here. Yeah. You want like, cheat codes to um Mortal Kombat Deception. Yeah, lay him on me. Welcome. Got some rare on sale. Unlockable arenas. Uh, oh no, I don't like it when they. It's not cheat codes. It just tells you how to unlock things. Like, give me a co like a code to put in. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid Three in-game codes. <laughs> there were codes in that game. Zoom in during cutscenes. <laughs> during cutscenes, press triangle to zoom in. <laughs> Hot damn! What are you, boy? That is not a cheat code. No, that's what I call cheat codes. Cure screen, alternate poses. At the cure screen, press R1 to cycle through different poses. Wow. Make snake spew. During gameplay, press R1 to enter the survival viewer and rotate the analog sticks to spin snake around, then resume play to see. Yeah, I remember that. That's a really funny. I do too. Do you remember that? Uh huh. That's such a Kojima thing. <laughs> It really is. Metal Gear Solid like, 3 rules. It's great. That's I'd really so like to good. play that again. Me too. I haven't played it since like the PS2 era. <laughs> My two biggest games, I think, as a teenager, were Resident Evil 4 and Metal Gear Solid 3. I kind of yep. they kind of came out around the same time too, so I was like alternating between both of them for like a couple years constantly. Yeah, that was those were like the two games from that time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they were both huge. I mean, like uh two probably like defined all the tropes, but then three perfected them as far as like yeah. Metal Gear games go. I just don't I don't know if I ever beat two. I remember having it on Xbox, like Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Oh yeah, I beat um, it. I really need. I I want to go back and play it because like a lot of people, there are people who say two is the best one. It's great. Uh, and I really want to go back and play it, Cause especially since I heard the like last like the last couple hours of that game are so insane. Oh, it's yeah, it's amazing. Man, if they have that, I'd want to watch you play that game. Ooh, that would be good. Because that, that is be one of my favorite games from that era, and like the the last like. Yeah, the last, like, quarter of the game is really bananas. It's like the most Kojima, uh, series of things that I've ever, that could possibly happen in a game. Yeah, I heard it just gets, like, super meta and, like, yep. breaks down a lot of walls. Oh, this is a good room. This is a chill room.
This like seems like a spot where I should be able to crouch. Yeah. You should be getting a crouch prompt. Those crossbow guys suck. You should get a crossbow. Why don't you get a crossbow? I know, I wish I could pick up their crossbow. Pop his the ass with that. Have a crossbow. That fun factor is like a two. <laughs> Imagine if GamePro just laid into games for not having crossbows. Like, there was one guy that worked there. <laughs> whose name... His, like, pen name was, like, Extreme Ninja. And all he wanted from games was crossbows. Extreme Ninja loves crossbows. Um... People did, like, review Here's... games under pseudonyms back yeah, in the day. Yeah, that's weird. That's super weird. Here's the, um, like, caption for the Metroid Prime 2 Echoes review. Uh, it may not out Halo Halo, but nevertheless, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes reverberates with its own unique power. It's like, bro. You're comparing Metroid Prime 2 to Halo? <laughs> that's like it's like comparing like Mario Tennis to Madden or something. <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. They may be entirely different games, but both of them have a third person camera, so it's relevant to compare them. Is <laughs> really what that is, like just because it's a first person game. Like, yeah, yeah there's the same just, thing. There's like guns in space, I guess, so I guess that's the same. Being a game developer must be so annoying. Yeah, because it's For like so many different reasons. <laughs> For one, you could get fired at like any moment, and then for two, everyone like sends you death threats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because for like really dumbass reasons too. Yeah. I love, like, just, like, gamer outrage is so ridiculous, like, they made the yeah. new Diablo on a phone instead of on a oh computer. Oh my god, people were so, so mad about that. This is the end of the world, and I hope you end your life because of this. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's fucking insane. It's like, who cares, man? Like, of course, you know how much money that game's probably gonna make? Like, so much money. Yeah, of course they made a fucking phone game. It's Blizzard. It was gonna happen. And then people were just like, well, they should have just told us beforehand that they weren't gonna announce a core Diablo game. It's like, they don't have to fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to tell they you do shit. Not have to, they don't have to announce that they're not going to announce a core <laughs> Diablo game. It's fucking insane. No, you definitely need to announce that you're not going to announce a game. <laughs> Apparently that's like the times we live in now that like, you can do that. <laughs> like, why hey, would people so show up? Know. Yeah. It's hey. not fair to gamers. Oh, this guy. That I guy hate is, like, this slippery. guy. He's like afraid of you. Yeah. Well, he's got a fancy pendant. Oh, oh. he lured you. You know, why has he got to be like that? He's sad. You know, what did I ever do to him besides his knees. chasing him around with a machine gun? You still haven't suplexed anyone in this game. I know, how do I... Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> this game's good. This is the most bananas shit I've seen in this game. <laughs> Just <laughs> on the floor with a Gatling gun. Yeah, you know, why not? Fucking video so, games, man. You can actually kill him before he gets to the Gatling gun. Oh, really? It's just, yeah, it's just really hard. Do I have anything good? Of course not. It's me playing. 
You don't have any grenades? I mean, I have a flash grenade. You could probably... Yeah, you might be good right there. Just peek. Oof. <laughs> Wait, can you hit him from there? Oh god. Oh yeah. Shots is he gonna take? Good lord. Ah, oh, man. This guy sucks. Wow. Wait, can you not die? What's going on? No, he can die. He can definitely die. I've killed this man. Yeah, this is just... Me not being good at video games, but like, exploiting a dumb quirk in the this level This is like design. the only way to fight this character. I don't think oh. there's like a valid strategy other than the like, kind of standing in cover. Like, exploiting hitboxes and like... Yeah. Revealing yourself without revealing yourself? I'm pretty sure that's how I did it. I love the reload animation for this gun. This isn't annoying at all. No, this is great. <laughs> this is what you come to video games for. This is a really stupid fight. I mean, this is maybe... incredibly dumb. The fact that, like, his hitbox, like, is just infinite, or, like, is very poorly defined, like, you can aim right at his head, and it's like, no, you hit the armor. Ah, that's... Going right to the heart. Right to that's the heart. about what I expected. Alright, let's see where this checkpoint is. They're pretty... Where is this? I don't know. I think the it's fact that we don't recognize it is a bad sign. Oh, oh no, it's, it's like, like right before the room. Yeah. So you're good. You should see if you can kill him immediately this time. Yeah. Now that I know that that's a thing. Yeah. To be I'm honest, like... I totally forgot until he. I saw him come out of the floor with the Gatling gun. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. I mean, that... That's what he does. It, I it was ammo on that chair. It was worth it just for how ridiculous that sequence was, but, uh... That sucked. That wasn't yeah. a... F like, it wasn't a fun... video game-ass video game moment. It's not a good... It's not a very good fight because they don't really... The design just isn't really good because it's like... They didn't think it through. It's like, well, a guy in Gatling gun, he does a lot of damage to you, and you have to kill him. It's like, well... At least I don't think, unless I'm forgetting something, but I don't remember there being any actual viable strategy. I think I used to throw grenades at him all the time. Yeah, and you can't really see him from here, either. That sucks. Yeah. Doesn't help. No, I thought I could just guys. snipe him. Oh. oh. Yeah, there's a guy coming. Right. I like how far they walk after you just popped him in the face. I know. They just like... There's an autopilot. Well, I know not to use my fucking uh, incendiary grenade against, like, the skull hat guy. Because that's what? what I... 
the guy with the uh <laughs> the helmet. Oh, the blind. The skull yeah. hat guy, you know. The guy that um has claws like what's his face from Street Fighter? Vega. Vega. Oh no, no, there's uh there's a couple of those other like uh guys that have the oh. uh the helmets on. The bulletproof helmets. Yeah, those, those guys are annoying. Not Vega. Yeah. Nah, Vega's, Vega's fun. Is, Vega's awesome. Leon is like... I mean, I guess it takes place before this game, but in the Resident Evil 2 remake, that he like, looks like Justin Bieber. <laughs> He looks like a like a baby-faced boy in, in the two remake, almost like a totally different character. And well, this one, they try to make him like Brad Pitt or some shit. Yeah, he's. He, this is the uh, the action hero, Leon. Yeah. And then the one in the two remake, he's like Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. He still reminds me of Leonardo DiCaprio even in this game, though. Yeah, I think he must be modeled after him or something, I feel like, loosely. Yeah, because I feel like Leo DiCaprio had this type of goofy-ass haircut, too. Yep. Man, I remember thinking his hair was cool. I wanted hair like Leon Kennedy. I did, too. My, my hero. Where is that guy at? He's like hiding in that doorway. You should just like ready a grenade or something. So he's gonna come out of there. Yeah. Oh, as soon as you jump down, probably. Yep. Fuck. Oh, what a little asshole. I like how it gives you that long of a... <laughs> I think there's a guy to your left. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> I was determined to try to get that guy. Got away again. I like how they distract you with all that treasure. I know. It's pretty, it's pretty good. You should just, like, let him get to the, uh, gun from here so you can fight him from over here this time. Maybe um, be a little easier. I don't think you can. Oh, you probably, yeah, you have to get closer to trigger it, don't you? That's yep. Sucks. You have to go into that room for him to bounce out to that one. Yeah. Let's see if I can just, like... You might be able to, oh, fuck. You might be able to, uh... Like, run right to the end, maybe? I don't know. But you do need the thing that he has, unfortunately. Yeah, I figured. I have an incendiary. Oh, I didn't kill that guy. <laughs> ah, rifle ammo. Two rounds, that's very nice of them. We do have a lot of TMP ammo. Oh, yeah. Which didn't seem to do dick to them last time, so it's kind of... Nope. Now watch me miss with this, uh... Incendiary. Yeah, you really have to, like, be super accurate at the incendiary, which is annoying. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, it's amazing that he's not hitting me. Ah, that was yeah, close. You can try, try a flash grenade, see if you can flash him and then snipe him. Uh, Alright, uh, I got five minutes before the share play ends. Here, let me, you uh... You can do it. Alright, let's go for it. <laughs> end this fight. Okay. You should be able to get it. I think you can shoot him in the head. I don't know. Oh no, that didn't wow. stun him at all. That didn't really do anything, huh? 
This is so annoying. Ooh, ah, that didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> He's about to shoot you. I would reload. I only have one oh, bullet. Oh, that's right. You only have one other shot. This is so annoying. Yeah! Oh. Wow, that was way better. Wow. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> better than the TMP, which took seemed to just do nothing. Yeah, I think it's just it had too much bullet spread to do anything useful. Just that fire rate. If you can't just like spray and then it, it, then it's kind of useless. Gallery key. Yes. Cool. Should we um, reset the share play? How much yeah. longer on the, the video? Ah, uh, it's the same as the share play. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we'll just pause it right here. All right.